All right, guys, we're gonna do a scrap run today. Got some good stuff to cash in, you know, some copper stuff. I wanna get it in while the price is up because the longshoremen are gonna be going on strike tomorrow. So I'll get it in before that. But anyway, here's what we got. We got a garbage can full of some number two wire and half a tote full. And when we're on the subject of half, we got half a garbage can. We got some number two copper here. Look at this piece. Check that out as it shows up. See how they didn't fin they didn't solder all the way around and this water was just leaking out the whole time? This was from a uh, top of a water heater. So we'll bring that. We got a big old stack of some uh, AC coils here. I honestly didn't think I had this much, but um, let's run all these in. Awesome. And we also have a tote here, some smaller ones, and then our bigger ones, you know, essential air. I might have to actually uh, fold that one in half. Some other ones here. This is my favorite right here. Look at this one. The square one. That was from uh, Essential AC. I don't know how old it was. It looked like a window unit. The coil was on the top, not around the side. It it was really weird looking, man. Really weird, but uh, it will bring that one too. I don't know. This one might be my favorite too. This um, long skinny one. It's from a um, prepping table, stainless steel prepping table. We also got uh, a little bucket of some red brass, a bigger bucket of red brass. And this was a nice ball valve right here, man. Got that all cleaned up. And even this too, this piece floor drain. Had some gooey tar stuff on there, scraped that off. And then two big honking electric motors, man. These things are huge. I'm not stripping those, of course, because I'm bringing them. They're off the top of a giant air compressor. Yeah, it had two motors. The owner of the HVAC shop called me. He's like, oh, can you come uh, get this giant air compressor? I'm like, I'll come take a look at it. I mean, this thing was the size of a car. And like I said, I had two motors on there. I got the motors off, the copper, the brass, the wiring. There's a transformer, you know, left the tank. I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't even cut it up. If I cut it in half, I still probably couldn't lift it up. And then we have a bucket of some number one, some good stuff here. And then I got this big pipe my buddy Mario, so we'll run that in. So I guess, time to fill the truck. So she's all loaded up, everything's gone, now we got to do is run this in. I'm guessing $890, sound about right, look about right, I don't know, maybe. I only know how much that copper weighs and the red brass weighs. I didn't weigh anything else, I'm just guessing, so, alright guys. Hopefully I can get some shots at the scrapyard. Hopefully they're not too busy. It is Monday and everyone likes to cash in on Monday because they're closed Sunday and stuff. So, And away we go. All right. 
right, we're here. Heading home now, way better than $890 as I expected. Like I said, I didn't weigh a lot of that stuff. Like the coils was like 100 pounds more than I thought I had. So we'll see if we can get any trouble on the way home. If not, I'll see you when I get back. All right, guys, we're back from the scrapyard. Go a quick rundown over the ticket. All the buckets and totes and everything are empty. So here's how we did. For at number two copper, we have 54 pounds at 355, we got $192. 83 pounds of red brass at 250, we got 208 bucks. Number two wire, 132 pounds at 65 cents, we got $86. Number one copper, 23 pounds at 370, 85 bucks. Those two electric motors, 189 pounds at 30 cents a pound, we got 57. Those clean coils, 306 pounds at $1.55. $474 for those, the grand total, $1,102. Alright guys, that was a pretty good run, way better than I thought I was going to do. So I guess, until next time.